Hey guys, this is an update on Chainlink, and we may have some reason to be excited thanks to the bullish action in the stock market, and more recently, a bit of an upswing in the crypto space. So we're going to jump right into it. This is the short-term linear 30-minute chart for Link, Chainlink specifically, and I, as usual, have the charts posted in links below in the description, so check those out if you are curious. But this is our upside structure since our last update. We've had several downside setups invalidate over the past several weeks since our overall low on May 12th. And none of the cryptos that I am tracking have made a lower low since that low on May 12th. As you can see, I have everything cleaned up. I had a lot of stuff going on on this chart, but we clearly hit our target. That was our fifth wave down. And we have five up. That is what this blue aquamarine colored circled one is representing. That is a five wave impulse. And this looks a lot like pretty much every other crypto, whether that's an impulse or a lean diagonal up doesn't really matter too much, but we have five up there and we presumably have a second wave down, an A, B, and a C. Looks convincingly like a second wave down. And we may actually have a nested one, two setup in here. So you can see the lower degree numerals have parentheses instead. So you have a one and a two. And we may be after the races into the, well, our third of the bigger third wave, as you see, uh, listed up there. So expect some expect us to first get through our pivot zone, which is the uh, 785 to 824 region. If we break through that, look for this thing to get up here and then consolidate one more time around the eight nine dollar mark with an eventual third wave top somewhere north of 990, maybe 10 1054. That's the upper limit for a third wave. And eventually, after a longer fourth of consolidation, expect us to get over ten dollars, possibly eleven dollars or more. If we have that pattern in place, that would be a full one two, three, four, five wave rally and expect a corrective pullback, a three wave zigzag. And that my friends would be a good confirmation that we are done with this correction. And it would provide one more potential buying opportunity. If you are trying to put in a more lump sums, or if you're looking for a higher confidence dip to buy. So that would be what I'd be waiting for. Once again, a five wave rally up to close to $11 and then a good pullback. We'll be seeing how deep it goes, but typically 38.2 to 61.8 percent retrace as long as we don't break back below our low of 532 then we'll be good the bearish alternate pattern is in red there's always a bearish alternate pattern doesn't matter what you never take those off the chart because you have to have a backup in case your main pattern breaks if it invalidates you better have a backup plan to evaluate what's going on i know it doesn't sit well with a lot of ta people in here but in elliott wave theory you always have an infinite number of possibilities at any given moment so if your most likely path breaks, you better have a backup. And then once your backup becomes primary, you better have a backup to that as well. So right now, we're seeing that as an A wave, B wave, and a bit of a stunted C wave. It didn't go as deep as a C wave should, but it's how corrective waves are. They don't always follow the rules appropriately. And we may have, well, a one, two setup downside. You could count that as a one, two, three, four, five. I don't love it, but it's certainly possible that this is actually a C wave. I'm sorry, a, uh, a wave two up. And if that is the case, then look for a bottom about where we hit on May 12th. So I wouldn't expect us to go any lower. We may end up forming a double bottom for Chainlink. If we do go down, that is the projection for the linear chart. If that happened, then we probably have a furious bounce. At least it would give us some closure as to what we're, uh, well, what we're seeing. Now, we've seen a lot of bullish action in other cryptos and the stock markets as well. It doesn't look as bullish in Bitcoin. Ethereum was pulling up pretty nicely, although it's starting to break down. And if anything, to my eyes, that looks like a corrective, uh, a corrective rally. It doesn't look like a proper impulse. It looks like maybe an A, B, and a C. So not particularly encouraging there. When we look at other altcoins, uh, well, we had a higher high in Bitcoin cash. I wouldn't say a higher high. We had a high way back here. So nothing particularly interesting on that one. Uh, Dash, we had a big spike blast off a few days ago, but we've come back down since. And looking at Ethereum Classic, which often has the most violent action, nothing particularly bullish yet. So remember, we're not out of the woods yet. We have reason to believe that we may be going higher. But right now, we do have, again, a small downside setup in place, which could see us going down a bit lower. Now, with all, all the talk about all this stuff, we've also had action in the stock market that looks relatively bullish and healthy. I'm going to bring up the Dow here. And uh, ever since our May 12th low, We've had a lot of upside action, very impulsive looking. Man, I have to go back a long way to get the get this whole thing uh, aligned properly. But we had a lower low on May 20th in the Dow, at least. 
And since then we have an impulse, maybe a one, two, three, and we're probably in the middle of a fourth wave. We need to see one higher high to give us a proper five waves up or else this could still be a fake out. So we're not out of the woods, despite everyone feeling really bullish about the action in the stock market. So that is where things look very similar uh, in the crypto space as it does in the stock market. When we look at the big picture chart on chain link, I've cleaned this up as well. Nothing has changed because we haven't broken any supports yet. We are still interpreted this entire thing as a completed impulse wave, although this could be interpreted as a third wave top in the May of 2021. If that is the case, whether this is the top of the first wave or the top of a longer, uh, well, a, a bigger third wave, we should still end up in this green box, green blue box. And that is based on the bottom. If we build a Fibonacci retrace pattern from here all the way down to, uh, up to the top of the rally and then down to the low that we hit around 532, the 0.32 to 0.2. 618 extensions target between 52 and $217. There's a strong Fibonacci confluence right around the 107 mark. So if we can get to about 107, somewhere between there and maybe 224, that would be a very good sign that uh, we'll have a top somewhere in that region, whether that's a smaller first wave to begin a larger impulse, or that's the final top is yet to be seen. I, uh, I, I don't know if I'd bet it either way, just because Chainlink does look a little bit different from a lot of the other altcoins. But at the same time, for many coins, if you actually extrapolate backwards and align the patterns with Bitcoin and everything, here you have a top around uh, what, January of 2018 that does align with the big, the massive, the, the big picture third wave top we had in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the stock market as well. So there is a chance that we are still completing the final wave up. So again, this is our uh, late 2017, early 2018 top, fourth wave dip, and a fifth well, we're in the progress in the middle of our final fifth wave up. This is Bitcoin. It looks a little bit cleaner, uh, maybe in Ethereum, or actually I, I keep using Dash because I have the cleanest chart. There's less clutter on it. But if that's the case, we do have one final rally to finish this entire thing. So there's a chance that Chainlink only makes to that box and then crashes with the rest of the cryptos later once we hit the major top. So I know uh, people have been, have been talking about altcoin season or whatever. Well, there's a chance that it'll get sucked down. It's not necessarily because Bitcoin sucks it down, but the overall sentiment says that that is a long-term top. So if we are going to be if we are going to be going off into this box, we need to see an impulse up. So this hasn't changed at all. Look for a first wave to get somewhere in the upper teens, somewhere north of $15, and then have a pullback. And then we should be off to the races, I think, on this linear chart, looking at somewhere north of $11. So you guys have a kind of a rough... Uh, range, a, a set of parameters where we should go. I wouldn't expect us to go any lower because we've had almost a 30.2% retrace. Now, if we actually have a complete 30.2% retrace, looking at a, yeah, basically a double bottom. So we basically did have a 30.2% uh, retrace, which is pretty textbook standard from Elliott Wave Theory for a fourth wave, not a second wave as I have here. Although for a second wave, that is a, a shallow but standard second wave pullback. So that is the interpretation right now. I should clean this chart up soon with the alternative view that this is actually a third wave top and that this is a fourth wave top, so uh, a fourth wave bottom. So stay tuned for more updates. I'll be uh, doing uh, plenty more as we go along. And although I don't always update the coins, check out the uh, the playlist uh, state of the cryptos. You'll notice that it's got the thumbnail with all the different cryptos on it. I generally touch on the entire crypto sector. Again, all the cryptos move together. So if you don't get an update on Chainlink, check that out. That'll give you a good idea of what is happening out there. So. Give me a like if you enjoyed my video. Till next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.